Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 89 rated icon Ronaldinho. So this um, review was one of my most highly anticipated videos on my channel, and I will be showing you guys it today. So starting off, I'm going to be showing you the team, because a lot of people in the comment sections have been asking to um, show the team that I use the players in that I'm reviewing. So as you can see, the team there is pretty nice. We've got Nani and SBC Charisma, and I know we're saying basically every video that you see SBC Charisma in I will review him but you know there's just so many new 5 star skillers coming out at the moment who I want to review over him such as you know Inform Thiago Inform Al Sharari and Inform Al Yanusi but once I've reviewed all those 3 players I will definitely be bringing out that SBC Charisma review so getting into Ronaldinho's in game stats now he's got 81 acceleration and 80 sprint speed now that doesn't seem the best but if you apply a hunter chem style to him what I did he goes up to like 90 pace um, so you know that doesn't really make too much of a difference so the first goal I go and score with him now is a really nice sombrero flick on the edge of the box to a left foot volley um, even though it says he's only got a four star week for in game it feels more like a five star and i seem to find that with a lot of players this year even though it says they've got a four star weak foot there isn't really too much of a difference between a four and a five star weak foot then the next chance we get here with Ronaldinho, we do a really nice skill run, we take the shot, the goal he manages to save, and then with the rebound, we get a nice hocus pocus finish with Nani. So getting into this guy's first pro, what is his curve? Um, this guy has some of the best curve shots on the game. What you'll see from a lot of these chances, I get it on the edge of the box, and then I do take the finesse shot, because he has probably the best finesse shot on the game in my opinion. And along with that, he has really good long shots, so especially, you know, the long shot finesse shots. And um, with most players, it doesn't really seem to work this year, but with Ronaldinho, it seems to work 9 out of 10 times. Um, so yeah, his long shots and his curves are absolutely insane. And here's an example of his long shots on his 4-star weak foot. Um, get it on the edge of the box there, do a nice sombrero flick, and then we finish it off there with a low driven shot into the corner past the goalkeeper. And then the final pro I could find with this card was his dribbling. He has, I think it's 92 dribbling in-game along with a 93 ball control so you know those two things combined make him absolutely insane at dribbling the ball and especially you know with the five star skill moves he keeps the ball so close to his feet and it's just so easy to beat defenders now the reason i didn't get the 91 card over this 89 card well the main reason is because i couldn't afford it because i think it's around 3.5 million coins the last time i checked whereas this card's around 2.1 to 2.3 million coins um, because if you apply a Hunter Chem style to Ronaldinho, what I did, there isn't too much difference between his 91 and 89 card, because, you know, the main difference between the two cards is I think the 91 rated got 90 pace, whereas the 89 rated has only got 80 pace, but as I mentioned earlier in the video, once you apply that Hunter Chem style, he goes up to 90 pace, and then he has, like, 90 shooting as well, so there isn't really too much of a difference between the two cards, and you're paying, like, an extra 1.5 million just for that extra few, um, pace stats and extra few shooting stats, so I've personally Personally, wouldn't recommend picking up his 91 card. Now I know what a lot of you guys are going to say. You could also apply Hunter Cam style to his 91 rated card. But even when you do apply that Hunter Cam style to him, a lot of his stats do you know cap out. Like they can't go any higher because they're already 99. So there isn't going to be you know too much of a difference between his 91 and 89 card but eventually when you just get that 94 card when EA decide to release it I definitely will be reviewing it um, so you guys can look out for that video so guys this has been the review if you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time